This is IIT Jam 2021, question number 48, economics. Now, before we go into this question, we would go ahead and discuss the total expenditure method that is used to calculate price elasticity. According to the expenditure method, see what is expenditure? Expenditure is price into quantity. Expenditure is the amount that you spend on any commodity. Okay. Now we know that the law of demand says that there is an inverse relationship between price and quantity demanded. As price increases, quantity demanded decreases. As price decreases, quantity demanded increases. Now let's go ahead and understand what does the expenditure method says. The expenditure method says that when price changes, obviously the expenditure will also change. But if price and expenditure move in same direction, which means when your price is increasing, expenditure is increasing. When price is decreasing, expenditure is decreasing. Then elasticity of demand is less than one in absolute terms. When price changes and total expenditure moves in opposite direction. What does this mean? This means that when price increases, expenditure on the commodity decreases. Price decreases, expenditure on the commodity increases. Then elasticity of demand in the absolute terms is greater than 1. And when price changes, but total expenditure is constant, which means when price increases, nothing happens to my expenditure. When price decreases, nothing happens to my expenditure. Then elasticity of demand in absolute terms is equal to 1. Why do I say absolute terms? Because otherwise the demand elasticity is always negative due to the law of demand. But we just want to talk about 1, less than 1 or greater than 1. When you will write the answer, you will put a negative sign due to the law of demand. Now let's go to the question. It says a consumer always spends 50% of his income on food. So I am going ahead and my expenditure is always 50% of my income. So if my income is 100, my expenditure is always 50 rupees, always. Now, it says there is a value added tax on food item that has increased the price of food. So suppose the price of food initially was 10 rupees. Now the price of food will be, you know, there is a 20% increase. So 10 plus 20% of 10. So the price of food will become 12 rupees. The price of food has increased from 10 to 12. Okay. While monthly income has remained unchanged. Monthly income is unchanged. My income was 100, it is still 100. So if my income has not changed, I will keep spending 50 rupees on food because I'm spending 50% of food. I wasn't concerned with whether price was 10 or 12. I spent 50% of my income on food. My income is unchanged. So my expenditure on food does not change. So my expenditure is unchanged. Price of food has increased. What will be elasticity of demand? In absolute terms, 1. Otherwise, due to law of demand, because it is negative, 
minus 1. So the elasticity of demand is minus 1. So the answer is minus 1.